Well, hello all the nine truck brothers. Um, I'm here at home. I actually have lost my voice, but um, I'm actually really, really happy with the results we got from today's meeting. And um, I just want to share my thoughts with you guys about what happened today. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you for all your hard work, effort. Um, those of you that came to the meeting, those of you that attended the meetings, uh, those of you that went to the town hall meetings, those of you that sent emails to the senators, those of you that uh, shared the petition, uh, the online petition, um, we have collected over a thousand signatures so far. And so uh, this is good. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for um, allowing me to be part of this, allowing me to... Uh, I'm not going to say represent, but to let me help and, and share what I could do and whatever is necessary for this cause. Um, I want to say, I want to, I want to, uh, I want to, I want to actually give a shout out to some people. And if I didn't mention you in this video, don't feel like I left you out. I want to thank everybody, but you know, special thanks to Sandra, Sandra Macias. Um, you know, your help has been invaluable. I mean, you have been a soldier. You have been everywhere. Um, Carlos Vallejo uh, for putting up, you know, the WhatsApp page for rallying us and showing emotion, passion. Uh, we all have to learn, you know, how to like manage ourselves and, and, and speak better and stuff like that. Thank you for your leadership and thank you for, you know, being actually an organizer as well. Uh, Carolina Kairaki. Um, you have been everywhere. You made so many copies of everybody's testimonies, and um, you were there earlier in Olympia with Sandra making copies and, and, and um, working on the statements. Um, thank you uh, also, Karen Avellaneda, for helping proofreading a lot of the statements that you guys emailed me. I started doing those. I went to sleep like at 2, 3 in the morning. Uh, Karen, actually, she proofread. Uh, most of them and, and um, emailed them and we were able to provide the senators with all of your statements. Okay. Uh, thank you, Sara Vielma. Sara Vielma has been crucial in this, uh, getting um, PIN, People's Injury Network support and her connections to rally people and to help us, you know, be there in numbers. Uh, and thank you, Lilian for being there, you know, typing stuff and just being like a secretary and just, you know, being there to help. So many of you have helped, everybody actually. So thank you for that. I want to I want to say thank you for the people. Uh, I want to say thank you to the people that spoke there. Um, Alejandro Vitola, you know, his expertise, his um, invaluable counsel helped us draft statements so we could know what we we're gonna say there, so we could know and be better informed. And he taught us protocol as to how to speak before the representatives, uh, how to talk to them, you know, the, the mannerisms, how to actually work on our timing with our speech. Um, it wasn't perfect, but these speeches were good and we got their attention, you know. I wanna thank Sophia. Um, Sophia, you know, your testimony was heartfelt. You made pretty good points. Uh, your leadership, securing meetings, and rallying us, you know, it was really good as well. Thank you so much for your help. Uh, all the providers that helped us, you know, uh, people like David Peter, uh, Andrew Jector, uh, Terry M uh, Martins um, from PIN. Oh my goodness, you guys were just wonderful. I mean, we couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, Martin Han, Dr. Han from Physio Health Clinic. Um, you have been more than a friend. You offered us the facilities in Kent so we could have our meeting on Sunday, on Friday night. Um, we didn't charge us a penny. You feel for us, you know, you know it affects you a lot to, uh, as well, but you helped us, you've been a friend. And uh, lastly, uh, thank you, everybody from Wascla. Oh, my goodness. You guys provided with so many statistics and numbers and, and things that we were not completely prepared. We didn't have time to prepare for this. We didn't have time to 
collect the data that we needed to present to these people arguing why this bill is actually killing jobs. But you guys actually nailed it. And um, because of Waslak's testimony and all of our testimony, seriously, these senators were, were asking questions, you know, they were misinformed. Uh, they thought uh, they were getting a, uh, the truth about what was going on. And uh, we were able to, uh, in a very concise, precise manner, okay, understandable way, we were able to let them see that we don't really need any help. We're helping the patients, we're interpreting, providers are happy with us, this is a system that works. So thank you very much for that. I'm going to make another video um, in Spanish this time addressing the interpreters and some of the issues that we saw there. But for the most part, this was a good day. We do, we do not know if the bill is going to pass, but uh, we're securing some messages, I'm sorry, some meetings uh, with senators. I also want to tell you that uh, we have been making decisions uh, based on a board that we created um, with votes from the interpreters that showed up to the meetings, okay? We're not trying to uh, exclude anybody or whatever, but we wanted people to attend the meetings. I know that not, a, not all of you could attend, but those who attended chose certain people to be part of the board. And so out of those people are um, Carlos Vallejo, okay? Uh, myself, Juan Blois, Carlos Vallejo, uh, Cecilia, uh, um, Brenda Aguilar, you know, representing interpreters from the north and Seattle, Sandra Macias, representing interpreters from the east, myself, Juan Blois, uh, Jesse, okay, uh, Miriam Lugo, we are representing interpreters from the south as well. And um, that's not to say that we cannot add anybody else later. So if we made decisions as to the order of the speakers, uh, the strategy that we were going to take, um, we took everybody's ideas into our speeches. My speech was kind of short stuff because um, a lot of people have, spoke, uh, have spoken already. They had spoken already and they, they made uh, good points. So I adjusted my speech, but I included many ideas from all of you guys, not just from me. So we're actually taking everybody into consideration. So this board, it's actually a representation of your ideas. I just want you to know that. Um, and so we're going to have meetings again, and we need your support, um, and we need you to be there, okay? So later on, I'm going to make a, another video addressing some of the things that, you know, didn't completely help us, but um, that could be better, okay? Um, we, we do not know if the bill is going to pass, but I, I think we have a good chance that um, because we were hurt in such a manner, um, they're going to reconsider and say, wait, 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 wait. We actually were not informed of these things. We were not told the whole truth. We have a lot of people that showed up here and had so many conflicting arguments against this. So thank you. I love you guys. Um, let's keep up the good work, okay? And um, thank you once again. Talk to you in a few minutes. Bye.